Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about Lindfelter syndrome. The Lindfelter syndrome, the genetics or the genotype is 47XXY. That means we have an extra chromosome of X. Here is the understanding the another chromosome comes from womb, the mother or the father. It is a meiotic non-disjunction. So whenever the gametogenesis is happening, some problem arises. Just like if the spermatogenesis is happening. So the 46XY is the basic chromosomes. But when the sperm are formed, the each sperm is having 23 chromosomes. And half of the sperm will have a Y chromosome and half of the sperm will have a X chromosome. And if this uh, non-disjunction happens, that means there is no equal distribution of these chromosomes. That's why one sperm containing 24 chromosomes instead of 23 having both X and Y chromosome. If this sperm fertilizes the ovum, normal ovum, that is 23X, then the formation will be 47 XXY. In this case, the X extra X is coming from the father. If the different scenario in the oogenesis, the oogenesis, the 46 XX is a basic chromosome number and it converts into two uh, sets of chromosome of 23 X and 23 X. One of this chromosome becomes as a bar body and one chromosome will be stay as a ovum. So if there is an again not equal distribution of the chromosomes that's why one ovum will become here 24 excess and this 22 chromosome will be converted into a bar body. So if this defected ovum comes and <coughs> makes a baby with a normal sp a normal sperm so this will be have a, again 47 x x y in this case this extra chromosome of x coming from the mother so most probably this uh, most commonly the extra chromosome comes from mother remember now once you see the y chromosome that means they are comparatively a male persons then female they are male, absolutely male. But this male is having a primary testicular failure. And when we call about a testicular failure, that means there is a problem in testis. With this primary testicular failure, it cannot produce enough amount of hormones like testosterone and estrogens. So there will be negative feedback to the pituitary will decrease and that's why increased in the FSH. The FSH is increased that's why it will go and increase the production of estrogen. So estrogen will be produced more because there will be less negative feedback on FSH. So FSH is increased so estrogen will be higher. So due to estrogen there will be a gynecomastia, breast development, arm and leg length will be higher. And the person is having oligospermia and azospermia. So what is the treatment of oligospermia? If the treatment of infertility is to be done, then we should go for TESA that is testicular extraction of sperms. Okay and give external testosterone. Another problem with this kind of person is very severe and very life challenging like lack of insight, poor judgment, difficulty in pronunciation and decreased attention span. Thank you friends.